All right, we're going to try one sort of difficult one. So we'll graph y is equal to 2 times sine of uh, pi x minus pi, then uh, minus 3. So there's really a lot going on, but really the first thing to do is first rewrite that this is uh, 2 sine, like before, factor out. Okay, so if you factor out a pi here, what you're left with is just uh, x minus 1 minus 3. So um, sort of the same deal as usual. So the first thing to graph okay, will be y is equal to sine of x. And then the second thing to graph will be y is equal to sine of pi times x. Okay, That's due to the pi that appears right there. Um, just We can work out the period just for a moment because it's a little bit weird to have the pi there, but the period formula is going to be 2 pi over the absolute value of b, b which is pi. So the period is just going to be the plain old number 2. Okay. Um, the third thing we'll do, and we'll come back to the period being 2, it will help us to graph this. Okay. But the third thing we're going to do is uh, we'll look at y is equal to sine of, we're going to take care of the phase shift really, so pi times the quantity x minus 1. And then the whole point is, what's this minus 1 going to do here? This is going to be a shift minus, so this is going to be a shift to the right, right, by 1. And then um, the whole point is this inside stuff, the, the stuff that gets fed into the input of sine or cosine, that's the weird stuff to deal with. That's why we prioritize, do the, do the really sort of difficult things. And then once we've done this, we're a little bit home free because then we're going to take care of the 2 in front. Okay, so we'll graph uh, 2 times sine of pi times quantity x minus 1. And then finally, the fifth thing we'll draw is with the minus 3. So 2, it's the whole thing now. Pi times x minus 1, then minus a 3. So if you graph sine of x first, I mean, this is fairly kind of usual, hopefully, now, and that, that this crossing would be at 2 pi. And of course, you can draw more of this thing, right? You can, you know, something like that. There's negative pi, here's negative 2 pi. Um, the next thing to really worry about is graphing uh, sine of pi x. And I'm not even going to use this as a guide at this point. I think what I'm just going to do, simply because the number is so weird, right? the, the, peri the, the graph is going to shrink horizontally by a factor of pi. That's just such a weird number to deal with. So I think it's just easier to go in and sort of eyeball and just draw something. Draw some kind of graph of sine first. And then sort of afterwards here, just label label appropriately. Well, OK, if here's we haven't finished the period here. This is just half of the cycle. And then over here, we've just finished. But the period has to be 2. That means this ha really has to be the number 2. And this really right here has to be the number 1. OK. Um, that means this next crossing is going to be 3, that downward crossing. This upward crossing is going to be 4. And likewise, right, there's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. OK, so that takes care of the second graph. Uh, the third graph, uh, what we're going to do is we've talked here. We said we're shifting to the right by 1. Well, that's a distance of 1. That's a distance of 1. That means this top peak point here, which used to be right at, well, this is actually at x is a half, now moves to right there. So if the entire graph, I mean, if these points there move all over, then you'd have the graph doing something like that. So um, in Let's try this in blue, okay? So if I were to graph this function in blue, you'd have every point moves by uh, one unit over, and it looks as if the graph, graph had flipped upside down. And you could do that by using a is negative one, but that's not what we're doing here. We've actually moved every single point over by a distance of exactly one unit. There's a shift to the right. The next thing that you want to do here is take care of this 2, so that's a change in amplitude. or So there's a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So take the graph that's in blue right now. I know this is going to get messy. But now stretch this graph vertically by 2. Okay, So that's sort of a really, I know this picture is not the best. I hope it gets the point across. Okay, So maybe I'll label the y-axis there with a 2. And down here, this sort of lowest point will correspond to negative 2. Um, and then finally, the last little bit is to take care of this 
minus 3. So what does this do? This takes the existing graph that you have in magenta and lowers everything by 3. So the topmost point used to be y is equal to 2, but if you lower everything by 3, then this point goes, let's, well, let's just count, 2, uh, here, stepping here, 1, okay, so there's 1, 2, 3. So this will now be the highest point. And if we kind of continue the y-axis down here, so this is the new high point. And then from the, the old low point, here you had, we have to also go a distance of 3 down. So 1, 2, 3 down. So this is actually going to be negative 5, and this will be the new low point. So maybe I'll just kind of draw a dotted line so that we can see what's going on a little. I know the picture is getting a bit messy. But the graph that we're about to draw is actually take the old, the magenta colored thing and draw that three units downward. And if you do that, the entire picture is going to fit between these two dotted lines. So I'm going to try to do this, not that it's extremely easy to do, um, but actually what might help is if I just find the midpoint here. So one, two. So this is sort of the starting point, and you can see what happened here in magenta. It's hard to see. It should have crossed right through the origin. So if, if you take the magenta picture and shift the picture downward three units, you really should get a picture that looks something like this. Again, these are, it's hard maybe on this computer-based system to exactly see what's going on, but I hope this gives you the impression of what's going on. Uh, this center line, which used to be right here, now is right in there, right through that dot. So this is the point that used to be the origin up there.